Hello my friends and welcome again. This section will guide you through the selection of the advanced method, solver settings and output times that we will use to obtain the solution and results of the contaminant transport model. First of all, we customize the settings of MT3DMS solver by going to MT3DMS solver then solution method. We will be using the upstream finite difference so we select upstream finite difference from here. As you see it is using the GCG solver which is the generalized conjugate gradient. This method provides a stable solution for the contaminant transport model in a relatively short period of time. To select GCG solver click here and modify GCG options from here. We type in the following information in the fields Now we have to modify the output times at which we would like to see the contaminant transport model and results. So we go to MT3DMS output time steps. The default settings for MT3D output control is to save only one set of concentration data values at the end of simulation only. For this tutorial, we will define specified times at which we would like to see the simulation results. So type in and check off the following. Simulation time 7300 days. Maximum number of transport steps 10,000. Now click on OK to accept these output and time step control parameters. This concludes the MT3D run options section of the tutorial.